Hello everyone. In the previous demo, I show you how the uh, Oplus Motion version 2.1, how you program and some of the detail of how they design the software. Uh, today, trying to wrap it up by showing you how to use Oval Plus Manager with the Mini Darwin Motion, which is kind of a new application. But let's quick review here. If you remember when we download the Motion Group, Motion group one essentially corresponds to initial pause, and then three, like sit down, four, stand up, that sort of thing. And then uh, five and six are bowing one and two. And like for example, I'm gonna show you all the way down the bottom, 42 is the Gangnam dance. So if you remember previous demo, these index number here, usually the motion pages in uh, version one of the motion editor, but in 2.1, they call motion group. And the design is a bit different too, but please check the other demo for it. So I'm trying to you remember if you remember those lists, okay? So this is a little bit a new application part is if you remember in uh, Robo Plus Manager, they have a 62 serial a management tool. You pop on it, it becomes this. So this box here, usually we can send a number so you can check with the uh, check on Zigbee. You know if it's a design for Zigbee, but you found out that it's really just a general serial COM port. So what do we do? We're going to send in the actual motion group index through here, and then it will play it on the mini Darwin essentially. Okay. You also can use the virtual RC100 that come with it. And I haven't done it here, but you can see after you've done this, you can see the extension. You can use up, down, left, right on the virtual to make it walk forward, backward, and then five and six and all of combination uh, key to do certain tricks also. The only problem is up is really sending one, D is sending two, R is sending four. So what happened to three and five and all the number in between? Every time you change up a, a button, it doubles the, the number, uh, double in, in, in term. Uh, uh, a binary. Uh, so the virtual RC100 may not be too useful here. So I'm going to be using this side of it. Okay. So right now it's on. So and uh, I'm using Zigbee today on it. And so robust management hub here. And we're running on COM6. So I can just connect to you, you can see. So if you connect Google Plus Manager regularly, it will keep on saying this. So this part of it, the code, the, the robotics folks haven't uh, worked on it. So it won't work for CM904.C, the robot manager. However, we can use this guy, Serial 2 Management. So I have COM6. You choose Zig2 Serial Management, this come up. So now let's see if it's working. Right now it's already in initial position. So let's see, it was send three. J3 that was sitting down, so it went down. Four, send up. I also wrote some piece of code that will demonstrate uh, and show you share with you a little bit later. But uh, then up, you also had sent, I set it up to Darwin Mini, so it sent back whatever command we send it. So, Let's see right now, let's try five for one, the bowing. There we go. Six is the other kind of bowing. So you can see from the PC, you can do some uh, communication and programming the uh, motion also. So remember that Gangnam style dance, here we go. All right, so this is just another way to access the uh, motion file or the mini Darwin in case you don't have a mobile device. And you just use an existing tool of uh, Robo Plus Manager to handle it. Before I go, I forgot to mention to show you how that uh, piece of code is working. So let's go back. So this is the 
the program, the task program, that also is running on the mini Darwin here. So we have start program, it's the OID to join mode. And then I turn the talk on for all the servos. Initially, uh, I want to put the play motion group one. So that's the uh, initial position. And just usual, wait while it's moving up. Just have the task code hanging here while waiting until it's finished all its motions. And then the key endless loop is here, pretty short. Anytime you go endless loop, I clear out the parameter called motion group number. And I wait here as long as uh, there's no new data coming in through the wireless. It could be Zigbee, it could be uh, Bluetooth, it doesn't matter, this code is fine. Um, and then what it is if when it's uh, that means as long as you say false, it will wait here, I mean no new data coming in. As soon as it pick up a new data, for example, when I send it from the Mool Plus manager, it will pick it up, whatever kind of XD, save into motion group number parameter. Then what I do, I TXD it out, and then I play that motion uh, group, motion group number, and then just wait a while, and then it's endless loop again. So if I bring back the Robo Flash Manager, so you can see. So if I put in one initial position, well, let me put a different angle and see. Oh, it's blocking your way. Uh, let me close it. Blocking the view. Three, sitting down, four, standing up, six, bow. You can see that every time I send a command, it sends the data and also receives. So you watch this one carefully. I'm going to put in 42, and we'll get go to here 42, and then after it gets sent over, the dot will send back 42 here also. Pretty quick, and then go into it. That's it.